Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank Tank, and today we're gonna bring the we're gonna compare two slim down machines. Uh, we have right now a Surface 7, and we have a 7200 Dell Latitude 7200 on one. And we're gonna compare it along with their pens, and we're gonna talk a side by side comparison of what I think that you should get, or maybe if you're into a market or something like this. Uh, stick around and. Take a look at it and see what you guys think about it. And if you guys have any questions in the comment, make sure you guys put them down in your comments below and hit the like and subscribe. And so let's go ahead and start. Latitude 7200. Now, this is a really good system. Um, compare now to other systems that are coming out. It's a, it's a really good one. Um, all base aluminum in the back. It's all completely covered. Pan, like I said, when you buy a machine like this, this is pretty much how you buy it. You buy it like this. This is what you get. That's all you get. A machine just like this, bare bones. They are like that now. Uh, it used to be a time that the Surface used to come with everything, the pan, uh, the keypad and everything. Now they don't even include that as a package. You gotta seek it, you gotta find it. Uh, weight wise, this is probably the heaviest one between those two. Um, other than the other stuff in it, it has a fingerprint reader that the Surface doesn't have it. Um, it does have a great thing that I'm going to show you guys at the end. So right now on the side of it, we're going to talk a little bit more. Right now there is a USB 3.0 and there's a lock mechanism. Speakers are on the side of it. It does have its fans on the cor corners if you guys can see it. Um, another two base set setup. So you have your audio controls here off and on, audio loud, up and down. There is a, a SD card connection here and it does have U2 Type-C. Um, um, USB so once for charging once for displaying or docking station or vice versa you can do both for compatible abilities you could do a, 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 a one of these mobile monitors that you just plug in it powers everything it drains your battery that's the thing you have to keep an eye for um, display it's really high definition display on this one I'll put some of the description in here uh, it does have a kickstand just like the surface it's same a kickstand just like the surface, if you guys can see it. Um, nice little hitches in the back, strong, very durable. Uh, 72 all-in-one, of course. You turn it on and it cranks up. Uh, it's, it's powered by Dell, of course. This is heavier than the last, than the surface, actually. Uh, it's a lot heavier, if you guys, and it, it's a lot durable, to be honest with you. All this is a, a brushed out uh, stainless. It looks stainless, but it's actually aluminum. Um, keyboard is real tough, real, real tight. Um, they don't have that many options for keyboard, just like the surfaces. That's one thing that I like about the survey has more options on the keyboard. Uh, this is a lot heavier, makes making your laptop a lot heavier too. Uh, the back is similar, like uh, suede, just similar as the surface, but it's a lot heavier, like I said. Now, one thing I did find about a problem was that it, when you dock it in, it does have that magnetic problem. But it's not even for some reason it wasn't even it out when i when i try to curve it, it it was a little slanted i don't know and i tried it two different keyboards in two different systems and the same results i don't think it was well made in this part or it was rushed but the system overall works very good charging wise a couple hours it gives you a lot of life um pen you have to purchase the pen separately uh, they do have these attachable um, um threads that you go actually throw them in here and cover them in there they do have a little corner that you can actually save them somewhere in here uh not in this version power buttons on the corner itself um it, it is magnetic in one way there it is it's magnetic only in one way if you guys can see it it's magnetic in one way now one of the best tips i like about this thing is that the pen works very well too i like the pen it's not as it's not better than the surface i'm not gonna lie to you, lie to you. it does have a good face recognition with the camera and the sensor and the lighting sensors it does come up and it recognizes me when i program that in there um pen wise it's 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 okay it's not the best pen but it, it, it competes with the best pens, all right? So one great thing about this item that this is gonna kind of like overthrow a little bit off the surface is that you can upgrade the system. You, you actually have access, Dow gives you access to actually go back here, unscrew this system, and uh, if you guys see my video, 
when I take this apart, you'll see it that I could go in here and take the whole thing apart. You could actually replace the M.2, but it's a different M.2. If you guys, I'll put the specs in there. If you guys see my video uh, re, re, um, about opening this device, you'll see what version it is. So you could replace a couple of things in here that you cannot do on the surface. So if you run out of space and you want to buy a two or three terabytes, you can do that by replacing the chip in here. So they do give you the option to modify this, which the Surface don't do that. So uh, this is already scratched because you can see it. It doesn't, it's scratching wise, it's not very good scratch resistance. Um, uh, it's a lot heavier. This is a lot heavier. Fingerprint, it's in the very awkward position, of course. You know, to you're gonna have to either close it up or kind of if it's on one side, uh, or program the different fingers. So it's it's a little bulkier. Um, the, from the best, we're going to come at the end and talk a little bit more about it. So other than that, um, really durable, really good, um, heavier than the, than the surface. We're going to take a look at the surface next and talk about it a little bit more. Now, here's your Microsoft Surface 7, version 7. They have multiple, multiple different versions. When you buy the Surface, oh, the magnet is a lot stronger too. When you buy the Surface, this is what you get. This no pen, no keyboard, no nothing. This is what you buy. You pretty much buy something that's portable, ready to go. But you do not need a keyboard and mouse, just like the 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 latitude. You could just do a touch base. Everything's touchable now. Everything's in there. Similar camera to the last one. It does have a better kickstand. I like this one. It's a lot slimmer. It goes even deeper than the last one. Um, the only bad thing about it, there's no modification. You cannot modify it. You can't take it apart and replace the the actual memory, the 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 M.2 or anything in here. Pretty much when you buy it, that's all you get. If you buy with eight megs of eight gigs of memory, that's all you're gonna get for your rest of your life, your surface life. You cannot upgrade it on the line. You break this, it's a little more fragile than other devices than the latitude, all right? So now the speakers are right built in right in front of the screen if you guys can see it they're a little hidden in here and they're a lot slimmer too and this is a lot slimmer and a lot lighter than the actual uh, latitude uh magnet wise they they have a great magnet that it's hard to even remove them sometimes you know so now great thing about it they give you options to buy different multiple keyboards because they've been in the market so long they had time to modify everything. They have different types of keyboard. They got soft touch, a hard touch, and different auto tones for every single hand out there that, that wants a keyboard. So that's a plus on it. Um, the touch sensors are very, very easy to use. They actually modify and made them a lot better because they've been in the only ones in the market with the slim versions on it until the Latitude and other brands started coming out on it. Now, this is a lot lighter. A lot durable, easy to carry around, easy to move around. More accessories too that they come out. It does have two cameras, just like the Latitude. One, in the, two in the one in the front, two in, one in the back. Now the kickstand, like I said, it's very simple, easy to open. Now one thing that people don't even realize that there's a micro SD two also on this system. If you guys notice down at the corner, it's right here. It looks like a little niche. You actually get the micro SD card. You put it in there. You could add additional memory space for your computer if you want to save files and stuff like that. But the only part when you're going to send this through a, a metal detector or anything like that, you might be you know, compromising some of the data in there. You know, So just make sure that you want to make sure that you maybe want to separate that and keep it somewhere more safe. Um, down the airports, you know, these machines are very powerful these days. Don't know what it can do it and it's something so small and if you're carrying a lot of, of, of crucial data you want to make sure you 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 carry that somewhere else or safe so this is a little area that you actually put the micro sd card not that many attachments in here they give you another attachment right here this is for your actual power if you guys see a 3.1 and then they give you a type c connection too only one that's a bad thing about it. they only give you one because on the other side there's nothing Nothing but the audio jack, the old-fashioned audio jack. Uh, but it's a great machine. Don't get me wrong. One of the best things I like about it is the pen. The pen has a very good sensor. They actually, this is like the fourth version of it. 
um, fourth or fifth version of it that I have used and this is probably the one of the best pens out there the only bad thing about it it does use batteries now compared to the other pen it's a different battery now this one has a quadruple a battery that you have to charge you can't you could buy a chargeable ones but I can't find chargeable batteries so you have to buy batteries and they do sell them in pharmacies and stores and stuff like that for medical devices and stuff but um, other than that, it, it works really well. The pens, they sell different types of, of pens, um, heads uh, that you can replace for artists out there. So if you're not used to this, the current one that you have, you could buy different versions, just like pencils, you know, A3, A4, A, whatever it is, they have different versions there. That's a plus on the pen. They actually modify a lot better than the other versions of it. So now let's go ahead and bring them both in and see the comparisons at the end and let me know. I'm going to let you know what I think about both of them now let's go down to the what the base of ace so the the dell the dell which is this one right here the price is a little you know cheaper than the surface of course but that's if you want to add extra features if you add more features to the dell device you're gonna the price increase the dell is probably the most expensive out there in the market but it's been in the market for longer than all these other uh, systems out there they were one of the first systems to slim down a, a basic computer into down into your hands uh travel wise they became very popular in the industry people were moving left to right with them um Fragile, they're more fragile than the Dell. Uh, Dell's more basic, like a rough, tough, you know, system. Uh, but price-wise, the cheapest one will be the Dell. Uh, my preference, honestly, in the in the long run, it's a Surface. I've been a Surface fan for quite a while. It's my just my bias I'm talking about, but Surface are very very reliable. I used them for many many years uh, since the market. I tried this one for quite a while. But it is bulky and, and heavy, and, and I'm not used to it. The pen wise, the surface is a lot, a hundred times better than the actual Dell version. You know, the Dell version, it's getting there. It has its buttons too, just like the the surface. Uh, battery wise, the 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 Dell uses a triple A battery, which the the surface uses a quadruple A battery. So. Other than that, though, if you're into the market, you're looking for something cheap, inexpensive, then go with the Dell. But if you have the money and the funds, you're going to be traveling around and do your data work and all that stuff. Get a beefed up um, Surface. Now, 16 gigs of memory in here. Uh, 512 um, uh, M.2. Here, you can actually upgrade those manually. You don't have to go with the basic inst with the basic that you buy in here. The upgradable is this one. This one you get as it is. That's pretty much it. Interfacing changes and stuff like that. The the surface has more items to it. Uh, it's been like I said, it's been in the market for quite a while. That there are a lot of vendors have created uh, cases for it, covers. Uh, protector covers, new pens, different types of pens. And that's, we're going to talk about other pens on the market too. And if you guys see my video, I did comparison on different types of pens, different types of things. And then I didn't include the Dell because it didn't arrive on time, but the next video I am, I am going to do it. So if it's up to me and I had the budget, I will honestly pick a, a surface because it's the lightest. One. Um, it's fragile, but it does the job and it's been doing it for quite a years. The market is now shifting to different vendors, but still, the surface is still the keen. Um, but beefing up, it, they haven't been very good in the market. Microsoft has been really little hanging back. You know, They don't put an uh, NVIDIA chip on this system or anything like that. They did on their Surface Book, but they don't do it on here. So GPU-wise, gaming-wise, it's not good. GPU-wise, this is not good. But it could hang with the basic stuff that you can do. Marketing. Um, Adobe, Excel spreadsheets, these both can do it. So if you're into the market and either one can help you out, then I would suggest get the one that you can afford. They're both good, reliable machines. But like I said, my pick would be the Surface. And if you have any questions or any comments, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.